Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Dogboat333, and welcome back to our turn forward with New Order, last day's Europe, as the Kingdom of Siberia. Now, in the last video, we went to war with Kazakhstan, which then resulted in us going to war with the Kingdom of Siberia. And that's going pretty well, all things considered. Um, because I've also found out a very unfortunate rumor about old man Karbyshev's downfall. But, uh... It's time for the fourth thesis to begin. Dostup Zabretchen. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Is that, like, top secret? Access is denied. Yeah, okay. Russian string to Heim, I understand. Oh, where are the, where the fucking troops go? There we go. The fourth thesis. Oh, man. At times of momentous events, it is easy to forget that the leadership of the Black League does not compromise the whole of it. The Russian National Army and its ranks lined by loyal men, as well as women, serve the interests of a league far better than it can ask for. The leadership is secure in the Black Mountain, but these soldiers need protection against the atomic retaliation of the Germans. The Glafric needs to shelter these soldiers through the harshness of the Fourth Theses. When the time of burning comes, we shall give the army the ultimate honor. Once the dust settles over Quiet Earth and rushes Avenge, they shall climb out of their underground complexes. The flag of the League shall wave above the ruins of the Ru Volkshall, and the symbol of Russia's ultimate triumph. Up top, of, above a world of ashes, dust and embers blows aloft the ruins of a black flag of victory. More military factories, get some more guns. His own mind was not his own. Verbal shrapnel rebounded in his head endlessly, cutting any semblance of a coherent thought into ribbons as he paced his dark end office alone. He relived the moment for the thousandth time, repeating what the damned miner had asked him. How he had angrily demanded clarification, his entourage looked on in horror. How the miner had continued, saying some relative of his was on duty the night and had seen it happen, his comrades agreeing. The men were dead now, but he couldn't kill their words. Words eating away at his mind like a corrosive poison. He had to know. Another day, Karbush's old Tartar aide, Cotton Tumen, regarding the Glavkrik with pity, even as he languished in his manacles, his over remembered how he had stood up, ramrod straight, staring down at the prostrate, yet defiant man from mere feet away, and how that man had nonchalantly told him how it was all true. He wanted to go out on his own t t own terms, the Tartar had said. He decided to embrace the inevitable. He had taken control, the Tartar had added, mocking Yazov. Again, the man was now gone, but even without their vessel, the cursed wards still fluttered around, haunting him. Confidence was now draining away, being replaced by a growing shame that he was letting this hound at him at all. The great trial awaited, he told himself. He had greater things to deal with, a greater mark to leave on the history, the inevitable. His own mind crystallized into absolute clarity. The conclusion was simple, the logic plain. Just as Kovachev had seen the inevitability of death, thus embraced it on his own terms, so should Russia not simply wait for the great trial, but start it when she was ready. He saw his path forward, his decisive mark in history. The warm winds of destiny were at his back, overriding his own doubts, as he looked up to the plaque on the wall bearing the three Karbyshevite theses. Now there will be a fourth. I have a purpose, and miles to go before I sleep. Hello, Dar. It's going to be conquered pretty quickly, coming up. If I'm not mistaken, these guys have no manpower, essentially. 
Manpower. Yeah, they're out of manpower. So they might have more troops, but they're just kind of getting beaten back. Essentially, at this point. We'll do some... Infantry weapon improvement stuff. Oh god, we lost Omsk. Uh-oh. That's kind of cringe. Let's renew the Black Mountain. In Magnitogorsk, a buff of smokestacks that spew black clouds of industrial waste to the Russian atmosphere, stands the Black Mountain. Its peak looks down upon the earth, like an eye over every inch of its land surrounding it. Dug into the crags, by its side was Lysenko's laboratories, where he once contrived to experiment to make supermen out of starving, dying subjects. The Black League does not have serious sympathies in Lysenko's theory. There's only so much cruelty that can be done in the name of science before it borders on idiocy. However, the research complexes have the potential. Built to withstand nuclear blasts, Lysenko's paranoia shall ensure a safe base of operations for the League's headquarters and high command. The Black Mountain shall be black again as Valik drapes its cloak over its peak. Maybe we should slow down a bit. Let's hold off on um, major offensives. Just kind of let them attack into us for a bit. I mean, we've, we've lost a, just about more men. Valerian Alec watch as the rusted metal gates of a black mountain turned inwards, its hinges howling the whole way down. Dressed in hazmat suits and gas masks, their breathing seemed to echo in the walls of the place. It was dark, with only their electric lights piercing the gloom. They looked at the walls, the moss had grown over the concrete, like greenish plaque, plaque on an infected tooth. Transparent film formed over it, a liquid that seeped through years of non-maintenance. Drip, drip, drip. The ceiling seemed to perspire in fear of what it contained. Alec, I get the feeling this place isn't friendly. Friendly. Friend, fry free. His voice echoed within the vast chambers of the mountain's research complex. Did you hear that? I did. Alex seemed more amazed than afraid of his place, although Valeri saw his left arm tremble. The fingers that held a flashlight were a little unsteady. I've heard stories. My family lived in Sverdlovsk. People who go here do not come back, either researcher or subject. That infamous, huh? You're from Zlatelis, you wouldn't know. I guess. Did, did you smell that? Is that rotten me Better if you don't describe it at all. Far better. If you say so, Alec. And now it's time for the Great Trial. The clock is winding down. Soon, very soon, the Great Trial will be upon us. The Huns will seek nothing less than our complete annihilation. The only thing that will prevent that is Comrade Dissolve in the Black League's reclamation government. The people must understand this, that we are fighting to protect them, but more importantly, we are fighting to avenge them. Every soldier slaughtered, every mother murdered, every child tossed into the inferno by the Teutonic Horde. They will be avenged a thousandfold. We will ensure that the Huns die screaming, ruining the day they ever laid eyes on our people. Excuse me. Ruin the day they ever laid eyes upon our people. Russia shall be avenged. Yeah. 
Looks like we lost a few men, which is kind of sucky. Where are you at, soldier? Right there, okay. How are we doing Air Force wise? Pushing out in northern Siberia. Let's move over to central Siberia. That's where I'm really interested in. So the war is not. It's gotten less civil. Let's wait for these truck guys to recalibrate, reposition themselves. They have more troops than us technically, but we I think we got better overall. Probably we'll chill on the tanks because we're not really getting many. More tanks, more artillery, more support equipment, and more guns. It's a good time, way to us uh, get our resources distributed. And we'll push. Pretty successful all around. I mean, we've got, gotten through. Can we keep the gains we got, though? Let's try to get a bit of encirclement off. We'll send one guy, keep him there. Send them up there. Take those uh, planes out of play. At least temporarily. Unless we might just want to get something there. And then we'll get the encirclement off, I think. Whether we can keep it or not is a whole other story. Once we take Kainsk, though, we should be okay. What, where, where, where are you going? Why are you leaving there? Hold the hell on, soldier. Nah. Fucking AI, I swear. And again, they're leaving that position for whatever reason. How much do I have to micro these guys? Some of central Siberia. Try to contest things over there. Aliens acquire nuclear weaponry. Probably a good idea for them. To do that, oh god, this isn't going as well as it should be. Yeah, you guys go in there. Uh, take Barnell, actually. That'll be good. Maybe say hi to Sh uh, Sh Shukshin. While he's there. If he's still alive. Oh, there. Huh, God.
Okay, we got Lena Strokeman off there, it seems. Start to trap some of these guys. No, no, you gotta... Okay, you... You guys hold off for a sec. Let's play it cool. Superiority, not much efficiency. Why don't I get some more fighters going? More actual fighters going. Instead of what we've been doing. Fighters, fighters. Move these guys. There? Okay. Your superiority. See if that helps. We got a we got a pocket down. Not exactly the big one I was hoping for, but we got it down. That'll clear up a bunch more troops. They're still out doing us casualty wise. How's Shorner doing? Well, not much manpower wise. Fucking ridiculous amount of divisions. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that is fucking insane. Um. We officially have more uh, divisions than them, though. So how much easier it's going to be without those guys will be uh, will remain to be seen. Air Force still isn't doing the best, but it doesn't seem to matter that much. So we're managing to keep pushing on, even through it all. Seems we can give Boy Navarre a little bonus, or not. Taking their old capital of Kemerovo. Oh god, we got a bunch of research we gotta do. I didn't even notice. Oh, I got distracted. Agricultural methods, not bad, I'll take it. How's our poverty rate? Still nowhere near a decent rate. We can integrate the Pavlo Dar. Let's do the readout in Vyatka. Oh, 
can we advance the advance the phase of it all? Let's do all this, actually. Why not? I believe Omsk is actually one of the two unifiers that actually can get nukes. So we might as well see if we can do that. You guys keep you guys pushing through there. Shev was one of them that we got. Who was the other one? Oh, it wasn't Dushin. Was just smart, uh, just trying to avoid the inevitable in there. <clears throat> As Ove ran his hand along the rough concrete of the first level, the glare of the fluorescent lights was just as uncomfortable, but he was not here to review the amenities. This was to be Russia's future. This had to be Russia's future. For a second, he allowed himself to feel safe and ready. Nothing could touch him there. The network of these bunkers that had been built would secure the Russian people against any eventuality. These small rooms, barely large enough for three stacked cots and shelves, were a great accomplishment of the program of national action. Survival of a Russian nation, whatever the cost. He'd always spoken about it in words, and always believed it, but the bunkers were his words made manifest. The lights flickered off for a moment. When they came back on, Yazov had always started back up the stairs towards the elevator. There was still much work to be done. Tons of concrete and snaking tunnels do not prepare a nation for work. He didn't even know the bunkers would work, yet he claimed to had claimed all, all assembled that the security was guaranteed forevermore. He climbed faster. What a joke he played on all of them and on himself and thinking that he could stop the inevitable. He was nothing, just the shadow of Karbashev, a pretender playing the savior for all to see. He arrived at the the uh, elevator, adjusted his cap, and pushed the button. There will be no time for these thoughts on the surface. Just as well. Our security is guaranteed forevermore. These guys are dead. Oh, yep, and there, they, there go the Italians conquering shit. All the Middle East. Try to move into Irtusk. See if that'll do things. Better RPGs, beautiful. Let's go ahead. And with that, we haven't quite turned um, the ratios in our favor. It's still more or less one to one in less than favorable ways, but... Ultimately, that's not the most important thing as we try, as we push on to worry about. 
We all knew the casualties would be high. All that really matters is the end goal. I mean, you know, division. Yeah, they lost all their army. That's. I think it's a bit more important. And then we'll do into there and into there. The Mad King's reign is over, boys. In less than half a century, Russia has fallen to Ger German invaders twice. But today, as Dmitry Timofeyevich Yazov took the stage in Omsk before an audience of tens of thousands, the newly reunified nation's message to the world rang out in chants of Russian soldiers. Never again. Yazov has traversed a long, turbulent road to reach this point, and now millions of Russians now hail him as their Glavkarek, their supreme commander. Since the death of his mentor, Dmitry Karbyshev, Yazov has ruthlessly enforced his Darwinian vision on Russia. And while this new state's future plans are unknown, it is not hard to judge the same when one considers his regime's new name, the Russian National Reclamation Government. From Jukota to the Volga, the earth trembles and the skies thunder with the tramps of footsteps and the pounding of drums. A black shadow is settled, settled above Russia. The lamps are going out all over Eurasia, and we shall not see them lit again in our lifetime. Hatred of the invading enemy is a most humane feeling, but it is born with such a pain of heart and torment of the soul of soul that God forbid anyone to experience it a second time. Pavel Batov. The end begins. I'm pretty sure we... I thought we cancelled that guy. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. Um, how are we doing artillery? We should probably get working on the new artillery. Well, we got the new research slot. The sky was without form, and the darkness was on the face of the clouds. And as the access door leading into the command center's rooftop slammed shut, Yazov was once again alone. Adrenaline sublimated into mist as his body cooled by the soft drizzle. Adrenaline sublimated into the mist, his body cooled. I, I read that, what the fuck? The stramps of boots echoed off Omsk's concrete carapace as a cadre drilled on the square below. Sakharovsky, 7th Stev. Stekelar, six others, chosen by name. They were the first to know, hear about the thesis. Sworn to secrecy beyond any no, known in the Black League. Miles of barbed wire and layers within layers of security clearance had still come to this. A meeting on the rooftop, five stories in the air, where only the wind and sky could eavesdrop. Only hours ago, Yazov had felt sick to his stomach. What if this all was insanity? And even then, until the moment of truth, the thesis existence was dizzyingly ten tenuous, only a single heartbeat away from erasure. But now, the truth would be born by ten men, and then a hundred, and one day, by all Russians. Yet, a new, more sickening dread took Yazov. He could feel the great colossus groaning beneath his feet, awakened from its slumber. He could see the Leviathan stirring beneath the sky's great sheams of rain. The wheels was now turning, gears tearing at decades of grime and rotten decay. Now perhaps he could stop at what he started before millions ra rallied to the call. But soon it would be, on, be beyond the control of any man. It would grow and grow until a nation's wrath blotted out the sun. The thought was exhilarating but terrifying. What was he, a mere man, against such a well, such a great machine? In the most primal depths of his gut, he feared it would swallow a mole. And so, as a bone-chilling rain ran from the languished, languid skies, the master of Russia turned around, opened the door, and resigned himself to a fate unknown. The great machine had been set in motion. 
Thank you, Tino Devs. Dedicated to Korean James Bond RIP. <sighs> Got a new portrait. I don't know where, where the sunglasses are. I know there's a portrait where he gets sunglasses. Um, we're going to keep going for a little bit, see if there are any uh, extra events. And if not, I think I might just AFK. And wait for uh, a little something else. Oh, I like how it uh, tells you whether uh, NASA's public approval will decrease or not by these. That's interesting. That's good to know. about Glenn um do I just want to cut it here and then I'll come back later on that might be a good idea honestly so yeah I'm gonna cut it here ladies and gentlemen thank you as always for watching over if you like this video leave a like if not feel free to dislike if you want to see more of this content feature hit the sub button we're all posted every weekday as well as our Saturday if you have any comments feedback concerns any sort leave them in the comment section below I read all the comments I get and appreciate any all feedback you might have for me if you want to chat or play games uh, check out my Discord. If you want to send me bucks my way, I have a Patreon. And if you want to uh, watch me do a sort of stuff live, I have a Twitch, all which are down in the description box below. That's really about it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Dogboat333, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.